Educational videos on biogas by Hikans. Bye. Welcome. And uh, we're going to discuss process flow. Due to very intense monsoon at our project sites, the Napier grass farming is going full fledged. But at the same time, the construction activity has slowed down. So that is why uh, we are getting quite a lot of free time. So uh, trying to cover as much as possible. The CBG is so deep uh, in terms of microbiology or the design or the engineering side or on the raw material and also on the commercial side. So uh, probably we need uh, so many, uh, so much, so many hours to cover everything. Uh, but we'll go uh, and as we move forward, uh, expect deeper and deeper conversation. So right now, uh, most of these things may be basic for some of you. So generally the biogas production process in the nature, whatever we throw away, ultimately it will become CH4 or methane gas or it has to become ethanol. So one of it, if, if the bacteria are acting on it, it will become a gas. If the fungus is acting, it is becoming a ethanol. So there is no way that one material will give the gas, other material will not give the gas. So uh, many people maybe under that basic confusion. So whatever is biodegradable will become a gas. So now in the process, we are trying to make it little industrial design. What we are trying to do, we are this biodegradation process, we are capturing this gas. That's all we are doing in a controlled environment. So there is a biodegradable raw material. It can be grass, it can be food waste, it can be municipal solid waste, it can be sludge, it can be spent wash. Any uh, material which has biodegradable material can be used in the biogas plant. This is fed into a, a large tank which is covered airtight without oxygen inside. So that is called anaerobic processing processing and in anaerobic processing this people call it reactor some people call it digester whatever you call so we are going to put all this material into this digester and the bacteria are introduced if the environment inside the uh, digester the same bacteria will keep on multiplying there is no need for addition every day every four hours every 10 hour based on the family of this bacteria they will keep multiplying so these bacteria, it is not a single family, it is hundreds of various bacteria which are degrading. Degrading means the complex raw material, they are breaking and making it a simple raw material and making it mono sugar or uh, glucose, then it becomes CH4. So now this biogas, while creating the methane gas, it is also inevitable in anaerobic uh, digestion that the carbon dioxide will come, methane will come and also water will get produced and also some kind of heat will get produced. So it is an exothermic process, what we call in microbiology terms. So when this gas comes, this contains carbon dioxide, H2S, which is hydrogen sulfide, water vapor, and uh, methane and carbon dioxide. So when uh, out of all these, only CH4, we can burn it and use it as energy. H2S also can burn, but it causes so much of corrosion in every kind of uh, material, like especially the steel pipes, engine, uh, purification unit, our uh, compressor, everywhere it can spoil. So removing the H2S is the primary task. Then there is 55 to uh, 45 to 55 percent uh, kind of carbon dioxide in the general process that has to be removed. And as per IS standard, which we have already reviewed in chapter two. Uh, CO2 has to be brought down to 4%. Then the water vapor also will cause, it will eat away a lot of heat which we have generated by burning this either in engine or in a burner. So water vapor also has to be removed. So then what will happen? This purified gas, this is called purification process. There are various methods to purify which we will cover in the later uh, session. This purified gas gets into a compressor and this compressor can be uh, 5 bar, 30 bar, 200 bar. If it is to be called as CBG, we compress it to 200 to 250 bar range. That is the general process. If it is being pumped into the pipeline, which we call PNG or bio PNG, whatever we call, that will be up to 30 bar generally. So it will get into the cascade of cylinders. It is not the household cylinder, which we covered in the chapter one. These cylinders are interconnected and made a bunch of cylinder that is called cascade. And this cascade, can go to the industries and the retail outlet or the CNG bunks, CNG stations, what we call, 
or soon after compression it can directly get into the pipeline if there is a pipeline available right at the uh, cpg project plant or if there is no pipeline right away then we will have to compress fill it in the casket and take it to the place where the pipeline injection is possible so this gas can work as automobile fuel and industrial fuel and within industrial it can create heat you can uh, burn this you can use it to boil the uh, water or whatever chemical you want and it can generate power through uh, biogas to electricity generator so we do uh, primarily uh, three things actually one is the automobile grade fuel which is under satat initiative or it can be also for the city gas distribution companies the second uh, market we serve is the biogas to electricity where uh, the affluents are uh, converted to biogas and that is converted to electricity the third is directly burner like bakeries ovens uh, furnaces there are so many industries which use directly let us say if it's a biscuit manufacturing company they have to mix maida and sugar and dry it make it crisp to make it a biscuit so uh, there the open heat or the flame itself is getting replaced so we serve those industries also the third one is the pipeline this is where pipeline will be carrying the normal fossil based cng and along with that the bio cng also will get mixed up and go that way we are reducing the emission of uh, carbon so this is about the biogas project so uh, many of you may be uh, very much interested uh, in setting up your own plant and we are open and we are uh, certified uh, technology providers you can always contact for the project as well as if you need any more information or doubt to our best of our uh, uh, ability we will resolve your questions and queries thank you